Peter Ducey live for us in Cleveland tonight with an update on what's happening there. Hey, Peter. Tucker, good evening. Donald Trump still at his hotel about a two minute drive when you're in a motorcade away from here. Joe Biden has been spending the last few hours at a private residence in Cleveland where he has been uh, for most of the time since he's been in Ohio. We do expect to see him, though, arriving any minute here at the debate location. You may have heard a little bit about this earlier today. In some last-minute negotiations about ground rules for tonight's debate, the Trump campaign was trying to pressure the Biden team into allowing a third party to come in and just make sure that neither of the debaters had any kind of an electronic device or a listening implement in their ears. Uh, and the Biden campaign said that they wouldn't do it. But now Joe, Joe Biden is trying to make this into a joke. He tweeted the following a few minutes ago. It's debate night, so I've got my earpiece and performance enhancers ready. And you can see there's a photo of some earpieces, some earbuds, and ice cream. There were no cameras allowed at the only thing that Biden and Trump have done since they got into Ohio, which was this walkthrough. They were there separately. They did not run into each other. So we have not actually seen them since they landed, but we have seen some of the invited guests. We were just uh, over there and saw some of Biden's uh, top surrogates, Chris Coons, the senator from Delaware, Connor Lamb, the congressman from Pennsylvania, Tim Ryan, the congressman from Ohio, the host state. Uh, something else, there are a lot of police, riot police and National Guard, uh, very well protected outside just in case troublemakers do show up. Everybody that goes inside has to prove that they've got a credential, that they have a face mask, and that they have a wristband that says they got a COVID test negative at the Cleveland Clinic. Tucker?